The message I received was that I needed to go on dialysis to be alive. All my plans are changed because I was planning on transferring to UCLA. I was like planning on moving into the dorms, going to like my dream school. And I felt like I couldn't do that because I don't even know what this means, like being diagnosed with kidney failure. I was just thrilled when I left and I realized there was another option. The option for me was going to allow me to go to work. And I really wanted to go, obviously, and my mom was really against it. But that fall, I moved into the UCLA dorms and I had in-center dialysis. I struggled with it. I remember just feeling really frustrated. I would have emotional breakdowns at times. The biggest reason I chose peritoneal dialysis was I felt like I was going to have control of my own life. After a while, it's like second nature because I did it for four and a half years. I really didn't want to get that fistula because I felt like it was something like physically on my arm that I wasn't ready for. I was at work. I liked what I was doing. I felt especially even more grateful that I'm not sitting in a center doing dialysis. So after graduating UCLA, I got a job as a teacher. I often had to leave early for my dialysis treatment. So that was definitely very difficult for me. My grandchildren were a huge motivation. I want them to know who I am, not as someone who can't get out of the bed and go to the beach with them or do any other thing. When I did PD, I did it seven days a week. I felt better, I had more energy, and I felt like I was a functioning person in the community. You know, I never gave up hope. You have to get through the challenging times, and you gotta figure out a way to do that. I was stronger than I thought I was. I was much stronger than I thought I was. Your life is not over if you have CKD. It's just about balancing all the things that you need to do, and of course, you can feel stressed, and there are some days where you'll feel you know, sad, but in the end, it's just to be grateful and that you can still live your life and live it well.